inside the World Arena is 18-year-old David Sandee. And David has had the crowd with him from the very start. He's an exciting and strong free skater. In second place at the moment from Park Ridge, Illinois, the battle goes on for the men's championship. David Santee skating extraordinarily well for him so far. Not an innately superior athlete. He has overcome every possible obstacle in his court. He's done extraordinarily so far this evening, performing triple flip, triple salk out, triple toe loop, one after the other. He's really developed into a super, super performer. Look at that combination right there. Not always in the best of position, but he certainly is pulling off these jumps tonight. His competition, of course, Charles Tickner of Denver and Terry Kubicki. There's only two spots are vacant for the United States Olympic team in the men's. Look at these fast steps. Any major mistakes are going to drop one of these three people off the team. Remember, this is an exceptionally long program, five minutes, and at this altitude, that is not an easy performance. Athletes here suffering from altitude and exhaustion. Russian split jump. And now a flying open axle distance. Here it is. A good one. He's done a really good job. <laughs> and with a strong performance like that by David Santee, it should keep him near the top. But the man to watch is Terry Kubica in third. And he's coming up next. From Cypress, California, Terry Kubica. And he has got to skate superbly tonight. He has not been performing well during the week. He's in third place going into the finals here. He's fallen on two or three jumps in the warm-up, and he has planned to open his program with A, a triple salco, and then a triple flip. Mazurka double axle. He's a young man with extraordinary athletic ability. He's not known for his style. There's a triple salco. Very quietly entered, neatly entered, beautifully performed. Coming up now, the combination triple flip, double axle. 